Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Sony A7R2 and Canon 6D. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Sony A7R2 and the Canon 6D are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 10th of June 2015 and the 12th of February 2013. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Sony A7R2. For portrait photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Canon 6D. For portrait photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 10 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Sony A7R2 and the Canon 6D. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Sony A7R2. And here are some sample photos from the Canon 6D. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A7R2. I recently switched to the Sony A7R2 from Canon, and I'm loving it. The EVF 5-axis stabilization and massive megapixel stills are some of my favorite features. I wish it had a faster buffer and touchscreen, but overall it's perfect for portrait, lifestyle, landscape, and travel photography. It's not great for sports or action shots, but the versatility and 4K capabilities make it worth it. The Sony A7R2 has incredible image quality and detail retrieval that surpasses even newer models. Despite being from 2015, the 42 megapixel sensor produces images indistinguishable from the latest Sony cameras. I highly recommend this camera for those who demand top-notch image quality without compromise. It's still at the top of the camera food chain in terms of what matters most in digital image capture. The difference in image quality between newer models is trivial and not worth the upgrade. I also enjoy shooting with other cameras, but the detail retrieval on the A7R2 is on another level. Here's what people have to say about the Canon 6D. This camera has been a great investment for me. It took some time to get the hang of it, but after some practice and education, I have been able to take fantastic pictures. The low light performance is outstanding and the camera delivers great image quality. The autofocus could be better for moving subjects, but overall I am very happy with my purchase and would recommend it to others. I've been using the Canon 6D for a while and it's been a great bargain option for full frame photography. The sensor is excellent, especially at high ISO shooting, and the handling is good. The AF is a mixed bag, with the center point being great but the outer points not as accurate. The picture IQ is impressive, with beautiful colors and impressive detail. For the price, the 6D can't be beat within the Canon family. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Sony A7R2. We will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Canon 6D, we will give it an overall rating of 9 out of 10. 